What is up, machine freaks? Hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh to death. I know it's been a little bit. It's gotten cold here in New York. We have the snow. We have the white stuff. That's why I got to crank the heat. Let's get a little bit more personal, shall we? Let's, let me just grab you off this thing. How you guys doing? I am feeling good, feeling great. I'm on a different camera than usual. This one's a little bit closer to me, so you can get... We can feel each other's vibes a little bit more. I usually use this guy over here, this Canon, uh, I think this is a G7X, yeah, G7X. Um, I'm putting it on standby right now. I'm going to the old school stuff that I felt uh, more, that I feel, that I originally felt more comfortable with, and it uses like batteries like this. It's, it's more of a camcorder style, and if I had a mirror in here, I don't, I'm not a beautician, or I'm not into my cos, Metallurgy or something that is that the word I'm not into that so I don't have a mirror in here offhand but it's like a camcorder so it's a little bit more close we get all up and personal and stuff like that uh, life's been good I hope I you can say the same uh, I've been focused actually on other people's stuff I'll, I'll take you on a little tour here of the shop uh, this is what it currently looks like we got I don't know why but my camcorder that I was just talking about so nicely just cut out we have this spray foam board or whatever for insulation we got this nice eagle quad here yeah eagle that thing as you can see is is torn apart it's kind of funny on these cheaper Chinese things they have the body the plastic all one piece so if you like crack a little bit of it you can't just replace it like on this guy I think you have what two different pieces three different pieces three different pieces one two three so if say you crack this guy or like you know that guy you could just replace this back one but on this thing if you wreck it and you you know break that same thing you got to replace the whole thing if you have those kind of standards that's that's up to you the eagle is a chinese machine here and then over here we got its neighbor japan we got a yamaha this is a timberwolf i think that's a 92 both of these are not mine they are they belong to somebody else uh, i've been working on other people's stuff Here's a little tour of the shop if you haven't, uh, I mean obviously you guys haven't stopped by here anytime soon, so uh, this is what it currently looks like. Got the drawers situated and, and, and things are looking a little better. We still have to pick up this general area, but that's, that's not important. So basically I've been working on other people's stuff and I've collected a few things. Working on these Chinese four wheelers, granted I haven't worked on a lot of them, but working on this one and what other Chinese creation did I have? I had like a Chinese uh, Enduro one time. They're strange. Right, now this guy is having a gas situation, so usually what happens is you know you go to start it and it doesn't start, or you start it and it doesn't run very well. It just feels boggy or it feels laggy. So we're, we're dealing with a carburetor, it could be a few different things, but on this one it's the carburetor. Now what's crazy is that, uh, that's what we're moving right now, and I need the Dremel in order to cut off one of the bolts. Um, for whatever reason, it's rusty. Nowadays we're in, in the process of, it's cheaper just buy new. Uh, back in the day, you know, you'd go out, and this applies to lawnmowers, weed whackers, anything of that nature. Uh, you'd go to a mechanic and they'd clean it and repair it and rebuild it and then you'd go on your way you know with a refurbished carburetor nowadays uh, a lot of things are getting to the point where it's more efficient just to go ahead and buy a whole new carburetor but with this thing I can't even like for me to take it apart clean it rebuild it would cost about five or six times than it were to just buy a new one that's how cheap a carburetor on this thing is. It's only like twelve dollars, twelve bucks. So we're just gonna take it off, throw this one out, and just buy a brand new one. I'm gonna make it work. So besides cutting people's stuff up, the change in music, we're already into Christmas music, it's only like November 11th, and, uh, and the weather, not a lot has changed. Chisel my nizzle, I cut a little bit too much off, that's okay, we're getting a new one.
there's what uh, 12 bucks looks like. I guess I could add that guy to my collection. I have a few others over here. I also have a super messy uh, bench right here. But I also have another carburetor from a Honda and another carburetor from, what was that? What was that? Suzuki, I think? They, they're the same. So basically, um, still using my hands, still learning, still staying busy, still staying out of trouble. Don't really like trouble. Uh, as you noticed in the garage, we don't have a Honda, a KTM, or an Instigator. And uh, I still own all three of those things because, yes, I am a scammer. I scammed all of you guys into buying my Super Froggy Fresh. I scammed all you guys into buying my Super Froggy Fresh, super comfortable merch, um, giving you an incentive, and then not following through with that. That's absolutely incorrect, and I, I apologize for those people that are so, uh, they, they're so uncertain about themselves and about how they think that they have to then say uh, things about other people. Uh, it's, just, it's just a bad thing. I'm, I'm sorry there are insecure people. Um, when I tell you something, I am going to deliver on that, especially something like that. Like, you can't, it's very bad. I have a huge following that would make, that would like knock me down, not one, two, or three tiers. That would knock me down like ten tiers. We are giving away a dirt bike. The guys actually came out, I think, two weeks ago. You guys take fashionably late to a whole new level. What's happening? <laughs> how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. About time, sorry. Right? Uh, right? We, were, we were not communicating. Very well. That's okay. Shut that door so I don't lose you. You guys made it. So I picked up Jacob, the winner, Jacob from uh, Tennessee, and Donnie, his buddy. Uh, they're both from Tennessee. I flew them out here just as I promised. It's currently 12:30 in the morning, and we're taking Crush out with the uh, the winners of the giveaway. We got Jacob and Donnie here from Tennessee. Take Crush out. Late night spin, late night rip. And uh, they came in late. They were originally supposed to be here at, I think, 4 p.m. out, 4 p.m. And they didn't get here until midnight. Seth, you, you have uh, living victims. Jacob and Donnie, I do apologize for that, but come on, we, we had some breakfast. We, we had fun at my property. You got the Honda. Uh, we're at the airport. The guys came, they saw. Now, I haven't, uh, Jacob hasn't taken um, possession of the Honda. The Honda's actually outside right now. Um, let's go freeze our ass off. I mean, let's go look at the Honda. All right, so we're currently in the tarp shack, and as you can see, we have added a few things to it. Here is the Honda. Uh, Jacob decided to go with the Honda. I don't blame him at all, but uh, I hate to see it go. But this is what he chose, and this is what he's going to get because, yes, he went to machinemerch.com or 3dmachines.co, got like 15 bucks worth of stickers, and is going to take away a dirt bike. I don't need those right now. So, yeah. So then Donnie and Jacob, uh, you know, went for some rips uh, on, on Crush. They, they went home with a whole bunch of pictures and smiles on their faces, which was good. And then Jacob actually just signed what he had to sign uh, today. So now the dirt bike will be shipped down to him, free of charge. I'm, I'm covering that just like as I promised. Um, and then he'll take possession of that and we won't have the Honda anymore. We'll only have the Instigator and uh, the KTM left. So I am not a scammer. 3D Machines is not a scammer. I'm sorry if you, I'm, I'm really sorry for the people that like said those things, but I'm really also sorry for the people that believed that stuff. Um, I, you can't do, you can't scam people when you're this big on YouTube. I'm not saying that in a braggadocious way, saying I'm a, I'm a big influencer or anything like that. No, I'm just saying, uh, not only is that morally wrong, but, um, this is a business and that wouldn't make any sense. So, yes. It is partially my fault though too because I haven't made a video, but I'm not concerned about that because I know that 95, 96% of you are intelligent enough to understand that that wouldn't happen or didn't happen. We gotta pull off a finicky task that not very many people in the north like to do this time of year. And that is the old flip and switch. 
That means we gotta get this the hell out of here so we can get something in here that needs more work done to it. This just needs parts at this point. We're waiting on the parts. Need you to move. It got bigger and red. And I'm a lot warmer. We got another Timberwolf. Danny would love this situation right now. He was a big fan of the Timberwolf. This wasn't uh, black or red, but uh, he likes the Timberwolf. And I like Yamahas. So now this time of year, you gotta kinda let these guys warm up. So you gotta kinda let that thing do its job. And then you start attacking it. Just got done putting the carburetor in this Timberwolf. I did have to put some gasket maker on the rear uh, boot back here. So I can't start it up right now, so we're not going to be able to see that. Um, I will wait and let this cure, and then I'll, I'll make a video, or I'll include it in this video, so you guys can see some live action. We can see if it was something as simple as the needle and seat. But yeah, I've been working on a lot of these carbs lately. I actually had to make my own wrench here. You can see that's all notched up and ground off, so... That's a nice little special wrench there that I had to get all fabbed up. I really feel bad for this Timberwolf though. It's got a bad diff and every single bearing is shot. The guy, instead of running uh, like oil in it, he was running grease in the thing and obviously grease just won't cut it, right? So I have to replace every bearing in this thing. So that is a job. All the parts are all over the place. If you guys are in like the Buffalo area or in you know, Eden or, you know, places around Buffalo. Uh, if you email me at machinemerch at gmail.com, uh, tell me what you got. And if you want to bring it on by, I can work on your stuff. No problem at all. Just make sure to make a semi-intelligent email. Otherwise, it may go in the spam folder or I may not take it seriously. Sorry, not sorry. I managed to get two free garage door openers, which is awesome. I don't even think I'll install one in here because it's just, that door is so easy to open and close that I don't really think that I'm going to install one. Uh, I think it's going to be like a later on project, something that you set it aside and you just have, you know, that that knowing that I don't have to go out and spend a couple hundred dollars on a garage door opener. Big fan of free stuff. We also got some of this. This is a free, the wind's probably blowy. Um, this is a project we're gonna take on. Also bought a Yamaha three-wheeler, so you guys will see that. These two things are mine. Uh, blaster you might see, I don't know. And then that lawnmower, I, that engine was shot. So in the last 3D Machines production, when I had it posted at the top of the comment section saying that I was looking for stuff to entertain you guys, I was, and I, I did accomplish that. So I have two things so far. Uh, so those will come in. We will make some content this holiday season. That'll keep me out of trouble, and that'll keep 3D Machines productions your way. Coming your way? Yeah. But you can see, we got some snow. We got probably uh, three inches or so, and we're supposed to get a foot. This is the first snowfall we really had. I mean, you know, more than the covering or dusting. So a foot on the first round is quite a bit. It's already brought one guy to bring a snowblower. I love these kind of customers. He brought the oil for it, a full like one gallon gas tank, and even a Gatorade for myself. Now those are the people, those are the customers I really appreciate. Thank you very much. And I moved the Timberwolf a little closer to the heater so the stuff would dry a little faster. Still haven't given it a go. Don't want the, the loose stuff getting into the boot and getting into the carb, so we gotta let it cure. I'm action time, let's see if she goes. She was long gas, so I put some gas in it. I'm gonna turn the fuel on. I'll actually go to reserve just in case. Um, prime for a good time, or do you think she'll... There's no air filter in this thing. Ah, dang. It does make priming it, though, a little easier, so... We're just going to go with that, but no air filter, no restriction, so... Whatever.
And that is how we're going to wrap up this 3D Machines production. Got a Timberwolf going. She sounds good. Unfortunately, she's got an air filter missing, so you can't really adjust it completely. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to continue to stay warm. I'm sorry I'm so closed off with my hood and my, and my hat, my machine merch. Um, it's just it's so cold outside. And even with this heater going full blast, it's still just it's cold in here, right? So uh, I hope you guys stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. I will be uploading here. Um, you know, I, I have some stuff for you as you guys saw. And yes, of course, if you want to stay warm, you can go to machinemerch.com or 3dmachines.co and get something as well. We'll see you guys later. I have to throw in the plug. Comment down what you guys want to see. Push that like button. Do all those fancy things that you, you guys can. See you later. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. 3D Machines out.